Alright, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video today. We are gonna finally do a setup tour and setup um, update, I should say. A lot, and I mean a lot has happened ever since I got my first PC, uh, which was, I don't know when, it was before Corona. I think it was in summer, I don't know. But a lot of has happened um, and a lot of you asked for a setup review or a setup uh, update about uh, you know everything that has changed because there has been a lot of changes as you can see already it's been uh, it's been a ride but it's been it's been a good ride i should say okay i don't even know where to start i mean is there anything that is actually original the monitor the first monitor is actually original that's and that's it actually i may i uh, the table maybe but anyways, let's just dive straight into this. So, I don't know, let's just start with the chair, I guess. Um, guys, don't know, I had a cheap, or, you know, I wouldn't say cheap, I mean, it still cost me about 120 euros, but it started squeaking and clicking and just stuff happened. Uh, the foot, uh, the foot, I don't know what you call these things, they broke after a while. Um, and then at the end, I said to myself, you know what, I'm gonna buy, you know, something with, of, you know, good quality. So I looked up, I came across a lot of ergonomic chairs, but I don't know, like they, when I sat in them, my back didn't, I mean, it didn't feel good. Um, and then I saw actually this one, uh, I don't know, yeah, I, I, I always set it up like this because I don't use this thing. I think it's a bit too hard, a bit too hard, should have made it a bit more soft. But anyways, uh, then I, looked up some more chairs and I came across the same chair um, not this one obviously but not another one but it was just the same quality and I knew that if I would have bought that after one month or something is gonna start to get squeaky again and start uh, breaking stuff and you know what I just said let's just buy a quality gaming chair and that's it and then it's when I come came across this chair right here I don't know the brand uh, completely forgot what the brand is it's been a while since I bought this thing but it is way, and I mean way better than what I had previously. It also has, as you can see, or it's kind of hard to see, but you have carbon fiber on the side here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, maybe I should turn it around, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. There we go. You have a little bit of carbon fiber. Like the middle section is way wider. It's like, it's bigger. I sit in it perfectly. These things aren't like jammed up against your thighs um uh this is definitely a way better chain than the other one because it was more like cramped up together i should say but other than that no complaints it doesn't squeak so you know that is a good quality chair and doesn't start squeaking after a month or two but anyways let's just uh leave that yet again uh my previous chair actually gave me what 30 fps this thing gave me 60 fps so yeah that's gucci but anyways um <laughs> the next thing i should uh review or show you guys the Razer Black Widow um, mouse of oh, um, what the, what the fuck? Uh, I mean the Razer Black Widow keyboard, mechanical keyboard. If you guys didn't see my other video, I had a keyboard, but it was a membrane keyboard, which is just like who, who wants a membrane? But like I said, I just started. I didn't know anything about uh, mechanic or membrane. I didn't even know what the difference was to be honest. And you know what? After after a while, as you can see. I bought this thing and oh my goodness, listen to this ASMR. Oh, look at that. This thing has razor green switches, which they are pretty loud, if I'm being honest. I will buy the red ones or maybe the yellow switches. I think the yellow ones, uh, they're a bit more quieter than the green because the green, the green ones are very, very loud. So if, you're gonna, if you are gonna buy this, uh, yes, this is a Zerti Donnie from uh, I live in Belgium, so we use Zerti here and I can work with either Qwerty or Zerti. I don't give it. I don't give a damn. I can work with both. It's an amazing um, Upgrade from my membrane. Uh, what was it the Corsair K55 or something like that? I have no clue. The cool thing about this is you can uh, download the Razer Snapbase uh, software this one and right here oh wait and right here you can choose uh, whoops, there we go. <laughs> and right here, you can choose whatever you want this keyboard to do. So I have my mouse connected and my um, uh, keyboard. So if I go down to my keyboard here, I set it to default, uh, like this swirly effect. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, but you go into lighting 
And right here, you have a lot of choices. So you can adjust the brightness. I'm actually going to pump it up. Uh, the switch off lightning. I don't know actually what that does. But here are the effects. You click on this. And right here, you can say, um, what is this? Uh, breathing. Just do that, I guess. Let's see what happens. Okay, so, oh yeah, it uh, switches from color to color, like breathed, and now it's gonna be white. So, yet again, I also love the the fire. I think that also looks really, really dope. Look at that. Look at that effect. It's kind of hard to see because of the sun, but it like, especially in the dark, it's so noticeable. It's so amazing. I love these effects. I think that the wave and the wheel are the best ones. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, did I, sh did I? Maybe on my update video, I did show the Razer. This, yeah, obviously, I will go through it. This is just a Razer Dead Header Essential uh, mouse. Good little mouse, good for your hand. If you, if you have medium, big hands like me, this thing should work perfectly for you. Obviously, this is a gaming mouse, so yeah. I mean, I, I use it for everything, so don't even worry about that. Next thing is this big ass mouse pad. I saw a lot of like Corsair, Razer mouse pads or whatever. But to be honest, I didn't like them. They also had like RGB. Um, I love RGB, but not too much, you know. Anyways, uh, good little uh, mouse pad with every single country or just the whole map of, the, of uh, the world on here. And yeah, nothing else to say. Next thing that we need to talk about is this new, uh, ho, 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 the rig. I don't know which one this is, but this is just a rig headset. I needed a new one. Yeah, there you go. Now, yet again, I also had the Corsair um, red headset. It was a good headset, but eventually it started aging, the colors were fading, it didn't look good, and at the end it kind of cracked, like the top cracked, so I had to get a new one. So I started searching for good headset, and I came across a lot of like razor stuff, but I didn't want any razor um, or any Corsair headsets. I could have bought the Steel Series, but at the end I saw this, and I checked up some reviews and you know they all recommended it. I bought it and I have no regrets. I will say, however, I mean this thing, this thing is so good, like this thing is iron. So you know it's gonna be good quality if this thing is literally iron. So that is actually really really good or made of steel. And the cool thing about this is but you can see that the inside, or you know, kind of hard to see, but the inside is is soft. The outside is like leather, so the sound coming from the headset stays like inside. Like if I blast up music, it's still kind of hard to uh, like other people hear me playing what music. And also this one has uh, this little switch where you can adjust the volume and whatnot. Uh, also has a detachable uh, microphone. I don't use it. I will show you guys if you guys already saw it. I will show you guys the new microphone that I have. But if you have small ears or if you have like medium sized ears, they will fit you perfectly. If you have large ears, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it to be honest. Yeah, these things aren't that big. I would have liked them to be a bit bigger. So my, I mean my ears they fit. I mean I don't have any huge ears, but people, you know, it is up to you. But other than that, I think this is a really really good headset. Nothing to complain about. So the next thing we have is this microphone, and there I am. Um, <laughs> okay, so we have this microphone. Um, this is with the arm. Um, I didn't buy this with the arm. I bought it separate because I saw, you know, a lot of like, you know, you can buy a microphone with this, uh, with the stand and then with the microphone. But I came up with this, which is way cheaper. I think the arm is 16 euros. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I bought this for 100 euros, I think, or something maybe a bit. I don't know, around that. The headset for 90 euros. Uh, the 16 for the arm and 40 euro for the mic. And this mic blew my mind about the quality. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, a lot of people don't have this, but I think it is a really, really good microphone. It's from Life Goods. Uh, where does, there we go. Okay, so it's from Life Goods. Never heard of it or never heard of them, but I saw some good reviews and I thought, you know what, why not? Let's just try it out. It came and it, the sound quality is absolutely amazing if you guys saw any of my previous videos, whatever, uh, gameplay, walkthrough, whatever, um, you will notice how good the sound is. So if you wanna hear a sound test, just go watch some previous videos. I mean, I use it on all of my videos. The arm is really, really good, uh, stretch it out like this. Yeah, there's nothing actually. The only thing I can complain about is that when I, like, when I slam the desk or my head, like, gets on it pretty hard. The vibrance goes up to this um, arm and you can hear it in the microphone. That is actually the only thing 
that really annoys me but i think that i have to put some more like cushions and you know something like you can see that it is stuck to the uh, desk but there's no padding or something soft in between later on i will definitely put something else in there so the next thing is let's talk about the the monitors actually um i bought this monitor i think or one of them whatever um and i also had like a cheaper monitor um but in the end i was i always had in my mind like i want two of the same monitors next to me so this is the aoc 24 inch 144 hertz monitors um and they are also curved so yes it is pretty wide and you can break your neck i need it and i'm not gonna put them up like this yeah i, I game you know the problem is i also game and when i game i only game on this monitor and when i'm like programming and you know school work and stuff like that i need them both so i kind of sit in the middle then uh, then obviously it doesn't break your neck but when you're gaming kind of does i mean it really gets i mean it's it's up to you you know uh it can get annoying let's just uh keep it like that but these monitors are good the only issue about the performance i should say is that they are very very dark monitors like when i'm playing uh, escape from tarkov um i have to put down the shade uh, down because otherwise it's it's i can't see anything especially on dark games like escape from tarkov and horror games or stuff like that. yeah i need to put down the the shade because otherwise i can't i mean it's really i mean you can obviously see something but it's really really annoying and escape from tarkov is using unity engine and unity engine isn't that good for lightning other than that i think it is really, really good monitors uh the what's actually holding this monitor is uh, obviously I had like their stands and whatever i still have them they're up in the attic don't need them anymore because i bought the well, a monitor arm and i don't know how much i paid for this um I think about 40 euros or something i also left a little gap here so that my doesn't sit up against my leds other than that i use this little like i don't know what you call these things to hold up the cables so pretty much the only cable that is visible is the uh keyboard and mouse that's the only uh cable that you can see if you're sitting from here like look at that they look like they're floating so amazing these arms to be a bit wider or longer because then i could move this a bit more like in i know i can like push them back and then move them in but i think that i sit far from it then it doesn't it doesn't like it doesn't feel good you know i just leave it like this it looks really really good always you still have my controller here I, I guess that you can still call this thing the og from my setup um but guys what is all of this without the big boy the big brain the thing that powers it all there it is and baby boy this has i had a uh pre-built you guys didn't know i had a pre-built and i started upgrading stuff like graphics card power supply memory and at the end i wanted to switch or i wanted to buy a ninth gen processor but my motherboard didn't support the 9th gen uh, processors. So I had to get the new motherboard. And at the end, I said to myself, you know what? The only thing that I'm missing right now, oh yeah, the case. I only need a case and I can buy literally or make a new PC. And that is how I came up with this baby right here. The, 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 the pre-built is somewhere in this house, but I will go through what is in this baby. All right, guys. So I had to turn on the light because otherwise you couldn't see anything. I hope it is kind of visible, but as you can see, I bought a 101660 Super. We have a Cooler Master processor cooler, a lot of RGB fans. The case is a Tarkoon something I kind of forgot. Let's just uh, open it, I guess. There we go. Be careful with it, it's glass. So now that the inside is open, I think the cable management is uh, pretty good. Uh, I mean, I could use some uh, s uh, sleeves, but other than that, I think that the cable management actually looks really, really good. Uh, these, this case came with the pre-installed RGB fans. Uh, I think they, these are from Corsair, I don't know. I have no idea, but they are really, really good. And the good thing about this case is that when you have these RGB lights, you don't need any software to change up the lights. There's a button over here, um, if it focuses, there we go. It is a bit dusty, but you know, that's a piece. So if I click this, you can change color. You go like this, you go like this, red, green, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so I just put it on rainbow because it looks the best. Like I said, 
we have the i5 9th gen processor i will probably buy the i9 later i don't know i want to get the 3060 ti but as you guys know in this crypto mining shit that the this 101660 super i bought this for 250 euros 250 euros this thing right now the 101660 super goes for minimum 500 euros it is absolutely ridiculous it's just double the price of what it's worth and just and also and all because of the crypto miners and i also invest in uh, uh, bitcoin but yeah the miners they just ruin everything for us and the 3060s came on the uh, on, in stock back in february my friend actually told me like buy one right now i was literally on the toilet I shed as fast as I could <laughs> and then I went up to the site and I saw out of stock I mean we all saw the memes it really, really annoys me but the motherboard is the B365 motherboard uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi you name it it has everything a 650 watt uh, gold rated power supply and then obviously 16 gigs of RAM uh, 1080p gaming with over 60 FPS on high settings this thing is actually perfect for you obviously whenever i don't play on high settings um but when i do uh i also played resident evil village on high settings and i got about 80 the lowest was 70 fps but other than that i think this thing performs very very good the only thing like i said i really want is 3060 ti but whenever they come out i have no idea um the only thing that i need to get better at or need to improve is probably the cable management the cable management i mean it's pretty good um i mean it's tucked away but you can still see it uh, if you bend down in here other than that guys this has been it probably forgot something that's just that's just it hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe like because more videos are coming up Wait, hold up, hold up. I completely forgot something. What am I doing? I almost shut down the video. I was about to edit it, but then I forgot about this thing. I mean, you guys can already guess what's 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 this thing being used for or what's it used for. Uh, well, it's used for watching movies and how or where do I watch these movies is because of this projector that I bought. I love going to the movies and ever since Corona happened, everything shut down. I couldn't go watch any movies. So I decided to buy Cheerlux uh, Mini Beamer. Uh, performs really, really good, really, really good quality. It is a bit loud, which really annoys me, but I am gonna buy some stuff like, uh, I'm gonna box it in, let's just uh, keep it like that. I am gonna box it in, make sure it get air from this side. We also have, I mean, my, my room has been through a lot. New paint, new everything, everything has been changed. We also have a new bed, uh, amazing bed. <laughs> Uh, where the magic happens, I guess. But yeah, that is actually the final thing that I wanted to show you guys. So, hope you enjoyed and bye bye.